Today we're going to talk to you again about how to deal with a man, especially when it comes to uh, dealing with his very brittle emotions. Men are very brittle when it comes to criticism. So if you're not familiar with my work, click on the link below, howtokeepamanbook.com. And if you want to talk to me directly, if you have questions about how to keep a man, how to make your man happy, how to get your man to want to take care of you and make you happy, how to get your man to chase after you, how to get him back, you can call me directly on the link there. Click on the intuitive counseling link. You can ask me directly. So men are very brittle. This is, uh, you know, hard things break, soft things bend. Women tend to be more flexible than men. When it comes to our relationships, you have to understand that even though we look all strong and tough on the outside, the truth is is that we're little boys underneath. You know, I remember once a woman said to me when I was younger, she said, you're like a toasted marshmallow. You're all crispy on the outside, but underneath you're all soft and gooey. And, you know, that, you know, back in my macho mind, that didn't make me feel very good. But actually, she was giving me a compliment. She said she could tell that, that I was, you know, because that's what you're looking for in a man. You want a man to be strong, but you want him to be soft. Men are exactly like that. And, in fact, we're very brittle to our to criticism. So it's very important that you got to avoid criticizing your man. Now, sometimes you're criticizing him because you're trying to help him. You know what you need to do is, you know what your problem is, you know, those kinds of things, you're actually trying to help him, I know, but we don't hear it that way. And you can actually cut his legs out from underneath him, and it destroys his ability to go out and be somebody. We want to be with a woman because we want to be empowered, so we can go out and win the world. And when we have that woman that makes us feel so empowered, and so positive, and so loved, we feel like we can do anything, and we'll go and do anything for her to make her happy. So uh, that's important to understand. When you're wanting to help your man, the thing you want to do is first praise his strengths. Tell him how powerful he is, how smart he is. You want to, you want to appeal to his strengths and then you can help him see. You know how smart you are? You'd even be able to do this if you wanted to. Have you ever thought of that? You could do that. You could do that really well. See, that's a totally different motivation. By the way, all of these things work for little men as well. If you're a mother and you've got boys, everything I'm telling you to do for a, a grown man, you treat a little boy the same way, guess what? It's going to work on them too. Exactly the same. So um, that's my tip for today. Uh, men are brittle. you got to make sure that you build them up. Don't cut. Don't chop them down. For more information, click on the link below, howtokeepamanbook.com. If you want to talk to me directly, if you've got questions about your men, even your little men in your life, about how you can best interact with them, you can click on the Intuitive Counseling link and talk to me directly. HowToKeepAManBook.com